Good Lord's day to you and welcome to our Sunday Sunrise Virtual Gnostic Christian Service. Today we gather to explore a topic deeply woven into the fabric of our society and critical to the future of our children, education. In our journey through this discussion, let us be guided by the infallible wisdom of the scriptures, for they provide us with a foundation to address the complexities of curriculum changes, school funding, standardized testing, and the broader debates that challenge our education system. In education, the curriculum stands as a map guiding our youth's intellectual and moral development. Proverbs 4.13 reminds us, Take hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. As curriculum changes reflect evolving societal values and knowledge, let us seek God's wisdom to discern what is true, sound, and beneficial for the holistic development of our students. May our curriculum not only impart knowledge, but instill virtues, fostering a generation that is intellectually competent and morally upright, embodying the diversity and richness of God's creation. The disparities in school funding are a stark reminder of the inequalities that pervade, that pervade our society. James chapter 2, verse 5 offers us a perspective. Listen, my beloved brothers, has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to those who love him? As followers of Christ, we are called to advocate for a system where resources are allocated equitably, ensuring that every child, irrespective of their socioeconomic background, receives a quality education. This commitment to equity mirrors God's heart for justice and God's special concern for the marginalized and oppressed. The contentious issue of standardized testing challenges us to balance accountability and holistic education. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12 tells us, For wisdom is a defense, as money is a defense. But the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it. While assessments can guide improvements in teaching and learning, let us remember that true education transcends scores, fostering critical thinking, creativity, and character. May we advocate for assessment systems that reflect the full spectrum of God's gifts in each student, recognizing that each child is uniquely created in the image of God. In debates over curriculum content, let us remember Galatians 3.28. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. An inclusive curriculum that embraces diverse perspectives and stories reflects the kingdom of God, where every voice and story is valued. By ensuring that our curriculum represents the broad tapestry of humanity, we equip our students to live out the call to love and understand our neighbors as ourselves. The conversation around charter schools and school choice presents an opportunity for discernment and grace. While options in education can foster innovation and meet diverse needs, Romans 12.5 reminds us, So in Christ we though many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. In our advocacy for educational choices, let us ensure we do not forsake our communal responsibility to all children. Our commitment to educational equity should reflect our interconnectedness in the body of Christ, seeking the flourishing of every child. Let us embrace the complexities of education with hearts open to dialogue, minds seeking understanding, and spirits committed to action. May our discussions and decisions be steeped in prayer, guided by the Holy Spirit, and anchored in the love of Christ. As we navigate the controversies in education, let us remember our call to be salt and light, advocating for a system that reflects God's justice, wisdom, and love. May we walk forward together, united in our quest for an education system that nurtures, challenges, and uplifts every student, ensuring that the next generation is equipped to lead with integrity, compassion, and a deep love for God and neighbor. As we draw near to the conclusion of today's gathering, allow me to extend a gentle reminder. 
Our community is enriched by several short video series designed to nurture our spiritual journey, from our daily prayer to our daily devotion to our thought-provoking daily philosophy quote. There's something to uplift and inspire every day. And let's not forget our Sunday evening and Wednesday evening services, complementing our weekly Sunday morning gathering, all crafted with care to deepen our connection with the divine. As you go forth from here, may these resources continue to illuminate your path and strengthen your faith. Shall we depart in prayer until we meet again? A prayer to Astaphaeus for the end of false knowledge. Astaphaeus, dispeller of false knowledge and guardian of truth, in humble rever reverence I turn to you, recognizing your profound presence as the purveyor of divine wisdom and the beacon that guides us away from the treacherous shores of falsehood. I seek your guidance and blessings in my quest to see the end of false knowledge, a quest that seeks to replace ignorance with the radiant light of truth. Astrophaeus, you who represent the relentless pursuit of truth and the clarity that reveals the illusions of false knowledge, I implore you to grant me the discernment to recognize falsehood in all its forms. Help me to discern the subtle de deceptions that can cloud the minds of the seeking and lead them astray. In your presence, I find strength to challenge the allure of empty beliefs and to uphold the value of genuine knowledge. Teach me to be a torchbearer of truth, exposing the shadows of false knowledge that may hinder the progress of humanity. Guide me to seek knowledge that is founded in integrity, wisdom, and authenticity so that I may contribute to the greater understanding of the world. May I be a steadfast advocate for the pursuit of truth and the eradication of false knowledge in our lives. Astaphaeus, I offer this prayer to you, knowing that with your guidance, I can play a role in dispelling the cloud of, clouds of illusion and falsehood that obscure the path to enlightenment. May your presence inspire me to become a beacon of truth and wisdom, illuminating the way for others and ushering in an era where false knowledge is replaced by the brilliance of genuine understanding. I humbly pray, knowledge, salvation, faith, wisdom, in the name of Jesus, amen.